All praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to Apostle and Elders in New York, GMS. Salutations to Yahweh on the world, teach me truth, bring your lives on the line for it, and shout on to you, serious Aqua. My name is Maya Ka'ala Bungad, which Chicago branch of uh, Great Millstone. I'd like to make a disclaimer that we are not black Hebrew Israelites. All right, black is a color, not a nationality. All right. Again, we're not black Hebrew Israelites. All right. It's a color, not a nationality. The Israelites are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and speckled birds got abroad. Speckled birds are Israelites who look like other nations, but their father's paternal, paternal bloodline go back to the 12 tribes of Israel. We are not fitting with any violent groups. We are not fitting with any militant groups. We are not fitting with any terrorist groups. All right, and um, you know um, this right here, this uh, basically uh, my my analysis of this uh, movie, uh, One Night in Miami, um, was directed by uh, um, Regina King. You all know Regina King from the uh, the old school um, TV show Two Two Seven. You know. Um, you know, from uh, Poetic Justice, all right? Um, you know her from the voice of uh, Rally from the Boondocks. So, you know, she, uh, you know, those, like, in, grew up in the 80s and 90s, you're familiar with, but <clears throat> those are not just, you know, just name a few projects you get real familiar. Oh, right now she played in uh, HBO's um, Watchmen. All right, um, which is basically a, uh, I mean, people don't know, it's a DC comic um, property, you know, but The Watchmen is like an uh, alternative universe, parallel universe with um, um, basically the um, the, the current um, DC comic uh, character, you know, Superman, Batman, Woman. <clears throat> in reverse of that, you, uh, Batman is in that universe of Watch. He's Owl Man, you know, the Owl Man, all right? So I'll just basically get you, um, get you familiar with uh, Regina King if you don't know who she is, all right? And uh, you know, so basically, this is her. Uh, she had um, influence with this project, you know. And um, it's a it's a good movie, man. It's it's a real good movie. It's about um, uh, Malcolm X, Muhammad Ali, um, Jim Brown, Sam Cooke. You know, and uh, this is spoils alert. You haven't seen it. I bet you go see it. You know, go to Amazon or you got a relative that got like an Amazon Prime account. You know, just tell them, ask them to uh, let you watch it. All right. And um, like I said, spoil alerts. If you haven't watched it. Turn this, pause the video, and go watch it. All right. So I'm about to get into it and uh, my analysis of it, man. So you had um, Malcolm X, you had Jim Brown, Sam Cooke, Muhammad Ali. It was basically they um, got a room together after Muhammad Ali victory over um, uh, Sonny Liston, man. All right. And this, like, um, Basically, during the uh, 60s, man, when Jake was on uh, Esau's throat, man, <laughs> it was um, Judah, Judah, um, Judah, so-called Negroes, Ephraim, so-called Puerto Ricans, um, uh, Issachar, so-called Mexicans, and Gad, um, so-called um, Native Americans, man. And, and Jake was roused up, man. Jake was, was uh, a lion, man. You know, and um, you know they was on fire, man. All right, let me get this. Uh, Genesis forty nine and eight. It said, "Judah is a lion's whelp from the prey, my son. But thou art gone up. He stooped up, right, man. This during the like um, Jake was on fire, man. You know, doing the so uh, so called civil rights era, man. Well, basically, it was all that was staged by Esau. You know, um. Anyway, it, was, it says, um, but, you know, that that fire was really there, man. What I mean, staged by Esau, Esau 
Uh, he was behind uh, Black Panther groups, if y'all don't know it. All right, he was funding that. All right, he was behind that. Um, like the civil rights movement, he was... Uh, um, it's actually a picture of Martin Luther King with one of the Rothschilds, and Martin Luther King, um, um, I think some, I forgot which brother brought it out, but basically Martin Luther King was grown by the Rothschilds, man, all right, by the Ish people, man, to lead um, Jacob straight, but that, that spirit of rebellion was, was very high in regards to that, man. All right, he said, Genesis 49 and 8, Judas alliance, we're up from the prey, my son, thou art going up. He slipped down. He counted the lion as an old lion who to rouse him up. Right, cause Jake went back to sleep, man. <laughs> Jake went right, went right back to sleep, man. At um, during the uh, the civil rights era, man. All right, and then around about like uh, around the seventies, I forgot what year, what year I can't pinpoint it, but that's when Jake uh, that all the black exploitation movies came out, and. Uh, that's when uh, Jake had wanted to be like Superfly, want to be like pimps and you know all that all that type of madness, man. You know Jake want to be the drug dealers and everything. You know, uh, you know Superfly wasn't a, a um, for what I'm saying, he wasn't a pimp. But that's all the black exploitation movies that Jake. You know, being a pimp was the thing, man. It was a, basically Jake trying to get an easy way. Um, trying to uh find an easy way out from these um from the curses man you know and um and that's what's going on in the movie man you had jake they just basically uh um like malcolm s he knew he knew that he was, it was like because um if i'm not mistaken brothers correct me um on the board with one of the elders from the main camp new york um, please correct me on the comment board, but uh, I believe Arya's, um, I believe it was, uh, what was that? Um, what was that? It was either Abba Bibbins or Arya's father that knew Malcolm X and told Malcolm X and the Israelites. And then Malcolm X told um, his people, right, the people that uh, basically, um, to follow him, there'll be a group of young men in the future, which is now there'll be a group of young men in the corners, um, preaching, preaching, teaching, you know. All right. You know, but I don't know if uh, Muhammad Ali, Sam Cook, or Jerome Brown knew they were Israelites, man, but they was all just like, um, just like trying to figure a way to, um, uh, to get our people out of this, um, this hellish condition, man, based out of the low state of our nation, Yashallah. Um, Israel, Yashallah, me, uh, he, um, uh, uh, prince of power, man. All right, we're, uh, sons of Yahweh, you know, and that's why, you know, um, Esau has that pure hatred for us, man, because he, he, uh, believes their birthright, um, was his, which is never was, man. You know, on a deeper level, never was. Some scriptures. Uh, matter of fact, one of them is Genesis 24 and 60, man. You know, prove that Esau never did have a birthright. You know, he never did have the, uh, the blessings that, that, that was in store for, uh, um, that was in store for us, Yashallah, um, Israel, you know, um, but, uh, you know, Jake, um, going back to then, had Jake went to sleep, man, around about, around about the 70s and 80s, so Jake, you know, of course, Jake, uh, someone got killed, all, some got, um, bought out, you know what I mean, bought out, they gave them money, they gave them, uh, college education, they gave them, um, high positions in politics, you look at, um, uh, what's one of those cats, man, um, Bobby Rush, man, like, three years ago, man, we seen Bobby Rush, now, three or four years ago, we seen Bobby Rush in the Jewels, uh, grocery store in, in Roosevelt, Roosevelt uh, area. You know, it's the area right before you get to downtown. They call it sometimes the um, um, the Roosevelt Collection because it's on Roosevelt. And uh, we just say, basically, we just say, basically, what's up to him? And um, he got away from us. Like, we, <laughs> he got away from us, man. Like, we, um, 
like we was like we was uh like some rope spray or something like that man <laughs> you know but uh it just show you how jake just um just went to sleep man you know um right here it said ecclesiastes chapter uh where is it said uh ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 7 says surely oppression make a wise man mad and a gift destroy the heart right oppression make a wise man mad man you be mad man for all this injustice that's going on particularly towards our people man um the nation of israel so-called negroes latinos and native americans all right and it says you know a gift destroys the heart man all right so that's why um i don't that's what happened to jake man they sold out man you know uh like it says in uh uh, Deuteronomy 28 and uh, 48 it said, Therefore thou shalt serve thy enemies with your house to sin against thee in hunger and thirst and and in nakedness and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon a nigga to destroy it. But it said, And want and want of all things, man. So yeah, he saw did that spoil our people because our people never had nothing, man. All right. Some of our people never had nothing. All right, but there's one uh one particular uh one scene in there um um well Malcolm he was getting on Sam Cook and Sam Cook trying to figure out a way um um trying to figure out a way how to win the hearts over Esau man <laughs> all right but you, you know you can't win the hearts man number one we under no curses but every day we slowly coming up. Uh, from under curse, you go to Deuteronomy 30 for 7, but, you know, Sam Cook, he didn't know what the hell, he didn't know what was going on, man. He didn't know what's going on. Let me, uh, let me get this, uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 29. It said, Thou shalt grope at noonday as a blind, groping in darkness. Thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, and thou shalt be oppressed and spoil every more, and no man shall say thee. Thou shalt group at noon as a blind man, groping in dark. Right, man, so Sam Cook. All right, it's an example when Jake was like in total darkness, man. He didn't know what the hell was going on, man. You know, he didn't know who he was. He didn't know who his true true power is, man. His true God is. All right, he he just didn't know why, um, why Esau hated his damn guts, man. You know, all oh, trying to trying to will their hearts, man. Ain't no, ain't no no black soul, no white soul, none of that, man. It's gonna be one. Hit sharp, man, and you know, all this and that, and maybe I could win them over, you know. I'm just paraphrasing what he's saying, you know, just basically was saying, all right. But he didn't know, man, why? Because our people destroyed Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. It said, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. Thou shalt be no priest to me, saying, Thou hast forgotten the law of thy power. I will also forget thy children, man. All right, so that's why people don't understand. They restore for lack of knowledge. They don't put for lack of knowledge of uh, who he is, who his enemies are, all right, towards him and his nation, Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. All right? And also that goes with, uh, uh, let me get this right here. Deuteronomy 28 and uh, 46. Uh, let me see. We'll start with fast, and moreover, already curses come upon thee, and shall pursue thee, overtake to thou be destroyed, because thou hearkens not unto the voice of how with thy power to keep his commandments and statute which he command thee, and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder upon thy seed forever, man. For a sign, man. Let you know who are the Israelites, man, who going all these curses, man. And the uh, uh the civil rights era, the um uh, the uh the Atom Bell, Atom Bell era, which is basically the slavery era, all right, and the Jim Crow era, Jim, Jim Crow era, civil rights era, you know, all that, and there, you know, same thing, you know, uh, they just show you, man, who, who the Israelites are, you know, what, cur who, who, what, uh, these curses identify who the true Israelites, man, because definitely not those ish people over there, over there in the so-called Middle East, it's not them, they don't fit the prophecy. All right, but that's what Sam Cook, man. He was um with that part wonder, man. Like, damn, what? Well, why these? Why these white? Well, you know what he thought was back then. We all know they eat them, the red people. All right, damn, why they? Why they hate me, man? Why they like my song and, and all this and stuff, man? And, and why I gotta get a uh in his mind? What he think? What he thinking? Why I gotta get a white man to get a room for me and vouch for me for? 
these these white folks and stuff, huh? You know. And uh, he just gonna stand it, man. All right, that's what Jay wonder, man. Like, why they in this conditioning today, man? You know, they tried, uh, <laughs> they tried black power. You know, cause we're not black, we're brown. All right, so called Negroes, Latino, Native American, we're brown skinned people, not black. Nobody black like part of this um, background right here. All right, all right. They tried economics. They bombed Black Wall Street. They bombed. Um, they bombed Black Wall Street. They stored Rosewood, man. Ro Rosewood down there in Florida. All right. They took over other uh, uh, cities and towns that was founded by the Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. All right. They put on um, crack cocaine in our um, in our neighborhoods where the twelve where the twelve tribes dwell at, man. All right, they done everything to us, evil man, and you know Jay just wondered like, why, why? Because you're under curses, man. All right, you're under curses, and also Esau, he is, he is jealous of you because Esau knows that his, um, that his world, his system is coming to the end, man. All right, and that's why he desperate, desperately trying to roll out that um lassination, man. All right. Uh, upon the 12 tribes of Israel, man. Why you think Joe Biden, who, who y'all uh, voted for, why you think he pushing it hard, man? Because he wants to destroy the 12 tribes of Israel. Why? Because Esau is trying to get that blessing back, but that is in void. All right, Second Ezra chapter 6, verse 9. It says, uh, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is beginning Get it of it that fall of it. And Esau knows that man. He knows Jake gonna get the king. He knows Jake gonna have um Drew's gonna be uh, the, gonna have streets of gold and riches, man, and and spiritual powers. Well, I mean spiritual powers, superpowers, man. All right. And he's jealous of that. He knows that the there is like man gonna have all the women, man. All right. Now we in our low state, man, and women, other women want us, man. How much you you think in the kingdom, man? All right, our women gonna be ordered. In order, then the heathen women gonna be in order, man. All right, and he saw he 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 wants that, but he can't have it, man. And he's not going to get it, no matter how hard he try, man. All right, all right, and um, and there's a scene where uh, like the first scene where Jim Brown he drove in some type of island off of, of Georgia. Yeah, Georgia got islands off there, man. Matter of fact, um, it's a little island. Uh, for Georgia called Little Hawaii, man. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Little Hawaii. You know, but anyway, I forgot the name of the island, but Jim Brown woke up early in the morning, shit, drove all the way to see this uh, this Edomite that him and his family been knowing since uh, a long time. I'm just guessing back to slavery times, something like that. That slavery was sharecropping times. But anyway, um, so he was talking there. Oh, I'm proud of you, Jim. You're a credit to the community, this island, and blah, blah, blah. He packed, is there anything I could do, man? And all this and that. <laughs> and then uh, uh, the eater my granddaughter came out, man, and said, hey, dad, you got to move this bureau. He said, oh, yeah, that's right. And Jim, I said, hey, man, let me let me help you out. He said, nah, Jim, all right. He said, um, you know, um, you know, uh, no niggers allowed in this house. <laughs> and I was like, man, he was Jim Brown. Like, what? <laughs> he looking, but um, yeah, man. No matter how much uh, millions of money you 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 make, and and uh, you know how much a good boy you do, get a pat on the head by Esau, whether in the politics, the corporate world, or the sports world, or in the uh, or any other uh, system that Esau has. Basically, in this society, you know, you always, you are so-called news Latino, Native Americans, you always be a nigga to Esau, man. All right? You always be a nigga to Esau, as long as you is under his uh, captivity, man. That's why it's important uh, that, uh, it's important for us that, that uh, to perceive salvation from Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, man, All right? Yahweh is the one everybody called God, and Yahweh Shai is the one everybody in me called Jesus. All right, that's why it needs salvation, man. All right, to get up out of here, man. And that will happen. That will happen, man. All right, that will happen. It's going to happen soon, man. All right. But yeah, man, just show you, man. 
Um, I'm going to give a read this right here down the ending. It says right here, uh, Sirach chapter um, 13, verse 17. What well, fellowship had the wolf with the lamb? So the sinner with the god, the sinner is Esau, the god is us. There's like so called Negroes, Latino, Native American. What well, agreement is there between the hyena and the dog? What well, peace between the rich and the poor? As the wild ass is the lion's prey, the weirdness, so the rich ill the poor. As the proud hate humility, so do the rich abhor the poor, man. So Esau abhor us. Basically, Esau hate us, man. We, we are eternal enemies. All right. We are internal enemies, man. All right. And I know that's a hard pill for Jake to swallow, man. All right. But, hey, man, it is what it is. All right. And also, it is what it is that we are gods, man. According to Psalms 82 and 6, man. All right. And Esau, he's our servant, man. All right. We're not. The reason why we on the Esau boot temporary because we violate the law, statute, commandments, man. But like I said, going back to Second Ezra, what the scripture says, going back to Second Ezra, chapter six, verse nine, man. All right, Esau's beginning the world. Uh, Esau's the end of the world. Esau's the end of the world, and Jacob's beginning of it, man. All right. So, hey, man, we almost close, man. We almost at the finish line uh, uh, to Yahweh's kingdom, man. All right, and we're gonna have Esau. We're gonna have rest of the heathens uh, under our boots, man. Literally, man. All right, and they and just like Elder Gabar said, man, they're gonna learn to fear us, man. They're gonna fear us, man. All right. But uh I'm gonna end this and I uh, hope you've been uh edified and uh shout out.